Hello everybody, I am Acro, and welcome to another video. Today, I am speedrunning again, but as you can probably see, this is no normal speedrun. I am preparing for Insomnia 65, a gaming convention in Birmingham, UK. So, might as well start this off. I've been doing a lot of things, um, so that's why I haven't been doing any speedrunning. But I recently got asked if I wanted to do this, and I accepted, sent this in, and it was accepted, and I'm happy, so I'm practicing this category again. As you can probably see, we are on the old seed. The reason why we're on this seed is because there is a lot of things that align very nicely so that it's slightly more marathon safe. In this case, I'm referring to the fact that you can pick up food fairly easily, and it's got all the necessary um, parts to allow me to do it with fair ease with like the armor and everything. But this is also a good. Okay, let's try that again. I have a piece of flint very quickly, which is good, and that is one of the first RNG bits of this run. This seed is also quite useful for glitchless. Now, uh, glitchless is a lot more longer for kill wither. There is a 2.5% chance of getting a wither skeleton skull, I have found out, and that's a very low percentage. So imagine 0 0.025 times 0 0.025 times 0 0.025. It's, it's, um, very low. So, but, but because this is like a marathon and uh, whatever, I, it's, it's, it's also fine because I could just get very lucky. So as you can see, I am not taking my normal route. The route that I will be taking takes us over the hills over here. I'm going to eat a carrot because I know I'm going to run out of hunger on this running walk. And over here, you can just see the top of it now, there is another village. Uh, the reason why we go to the other village is because we can get all the obsidian needed to enter the nether without glitching anything. This is because imagine if I use the normal glitch entry to duplicate the obsidian already, then if I then was very lucky, like Sod's Law would suggest I would be, I don't know why I picked up that gold armor, then I would not be able to call it a glitchless run. So the idea is I can keep on going like this until I get to the 10 minute mark. And if I haven't got a skull by 10 minutes, then any skull I get will be um, then duplicated, because it's still people want to be entertained. So we eat food as we go through the portal, because we can't open our inventory. And, as you could probably imagine, uh, we don't actually spawn that far away from where we would usually spawn. This is because the nether is eight times smaller than the overworld, and thus, if you move eight blocks in the overworld, you're only moving one block in the nether. So if you think about that, there is very there's a lot less stuff to do a lot less um you know what i mean anyway i have a bucket of water i don't actually need it it's completely useless but what we can do is get the soul sand so a few runs have died for people forgetting soul sand a few runs have died from me forgetting wood because to do a glitchless run uh, you need to take the wood into the nether with you really because I haven't seen any mobs so far, it's kind of odd. Because, if we go around this corner, I never usually open this chest, but this chest has two diamonds in it. This means I would now be able to make a diamond pickaxe, and actually be able to do the run glitchless. Whereas usually we would duplicate gold pickaxes because they um, are a lot quicker. Oh look, some skeletons quickly. A lot of skeletons quickly, nice. Okay, so I'm going to strafe, I'm going to keep to this side of the wall, so when they hop off, it's... Can we get a skull? Can we get a skull? This is one of the best things about this run. If you've got a lot of skeletons, come on, you can jump. If you've got a lot of skeletons very quickly, ah, no skull. Then we can get a skull early. So obviously, okay, I'm going to put my armor on. <laughs> um, the quicker we get a skull, the safer I feel. Because if I get a skull really quickly, then I'm more than happy to carry on running for skulls until 10 minutes because I already have what I would need to finish the run, but until I get a skull, I cannot finish the run. So, once I've got a skull, the pressure's off, basically. 
This this is this is quite a good actually spawn for skeletons. Usually there's not that many. Come on, the AI in 1.8 is uh, aha, wonderful. We have a skull. That is a skull, a wither skeleton skull. So that's a 2.5 percent chance of dropping. Now what time are we at? We are at four minutes. So I'm going to run around and hit a few more skeletons, and if everything fails. Uh, ten minutes, we will go straight to uh, we we will go straight straight to killing the wither. Oh, no, I'm gonna try and be really safe because I've tried a few runs now and they've all crashed. But if this run crashes, hopefully the world will save. In fact, what I'm gonna do is save and quit to title, just so that if the world crashes. Yeah, that's perfectly acceptable in a normal run, by the way. It's saving a quick to title because we do everything by um, we do everything by in-game time in Minecraft because of the glitching category. So obviously, I'm still going to play it safe, uh, but I saved there just in case because my computer has a knack at crashing in about 15 minutes. So if I, I'll, I'll hit a few more skeletons if they come up uh, I didn't actually pick up any potatoes this time which should be fine I have a few more skeletons if they come up if they don't come up then we are just gonna go straight to the uh, killing boss area again being fairly careful because I I really don't want to, to die now it's not quite the same rush as a uh, when we're getting the early levels of potato skull and two three cool i am just currently running back through here um, mm, something's still shooting at me <laughs> so i'm glad that we actually got the skull so quickly uh, because let's see i can't even remember what's in these chats because because we got the skull so quickly, it now means that I can have a free wander around. I'm fairly competent in my PvE skills here because I've done this a lot, and they uh, this is 1.8 mobs aren't don't actually hurt that much. I could play it extra safe and do everything in uh, do everything in uh, uh, easy mode, but I don't. So what time are we at now? We're at six minutes. Um. Yeah, cool. We'll, we'll go one more round, just to see if we can get another skull for Shigs. And to be honest, if we get another skull, that's great. It's still a good celebration. If I get another skull, I might try for a third skull, which will take some more time. But only if I can get one in a fairly short period of time. Usually at this rate, you know, obviously if this was a world record, I'd be running straight to, I'd be running straight to the killing area. But you know, we've got a bit of time. I have 25 minutes to um, run this in the marathon. So come on. Nope. I have 25 minutes to run this in the marathon and I can quite happily run around for a, a while and just try and find some more skulls. Do it glitchless. And the best way to avoid blazes is to not run in straight lines because they have basically their attack is a uh, oh great, nope we're going this way. Their attack is a charging attack. Um, so if you can just kind of run around them then they won't be able to get you so yeah we're gonna go back now we're at we're at eight minutes i've killed a few more skeletons but i have a skull so i'm fine the minecraft music starts intensifying this would still be quicker than one of the old world records for this run because the old seed was a lot more complicated. Whoops. Oh, there's another skeleton. 
There is another skeleton down there, but there's also a blaze, so we're not going to use anything with it. Oh, there's a ghast. So what I'm actually going to do now is crafting table. Crafting table. Uh, diamond pickaxe. So what we're going to do now is we're going to quickly ascend into the ceiling here. Sit down the right way. Going to quickly climb, climb up a bit more. Actually, I'm going to pause it here because I'm going to make sure <laughs> that I am in the right place. Because there's a specific location that is the best place to be, and I haven't done this for a while, so. Obviously, I wouldn't do this on the. Uh, I wouldn't do this on the day. <laughs> I would have it in front of me. Or I would already know it. But I'm going to quickly log into this. I can pretend I'm duplicating something, but I, I'm not. I'm just making sure I know where I am, because so I don't want to. Don't want to lose it. Okay, there you can whilst that's loading, check the skull on the ground. This is duplication. Yeah, that might work. Nope. So we're going to use this method of duplication because... Let's see if I get it this time. Yes, that should do it. Um... It, it's, it doesn't, because it means I don't have to quit out of the game. Ah, there you go, two heads. And this, this is how we, this is why this is a glitched run. <laughs> that might do it. Nope. This is quite tense. I haven't felt this tense for a while. Nope, still two. <laughs> Doesn't help that I'm not really paying attention much. That worked, because it joined my inventory after. So now we have four. The only problem I have with doing this is... Okay, you're gonna load this time. Okay, we might just have to guess. So, there is a specific place on the roof of the nether that allows me to do this unharmed, unscathed. Is this it? Go sideways. Um, come on, you can you can do better than that. Right, let's just keep on going up. So, in 1.8, they added the ability to spawn the wither on the side, uh, on uh, facing sideways. So what we do is we go all the way up to the top of the nether, to the bedrock. You do have everything good. I'm going to quickly eat some food, which I could have duplicated as well, but we did not. There you go, top of the nether. So I have to find a specific location. Um, so as you can see, there's obsidian here. Uh, there is a, not obsidian, there's um, bedrock here. Bedrock is unbreakable by the wither. You can kind of see where this is going. Um, what we do is we get a platform that the wither can't escape out of. Uh, it's around here somewhere. Sometimes you do have to go a bit higher. Yep, yeah, there's like a, a platform that 
the wither cannot escape out on. So that. See, this wouldn't work because it's not wide enough. Let's just have a keep on digging on, digging around a bit. Usually I'd have the coordinates of the place I usually use, but of course I don't today. Um, which is unfortunate, but fine, we can deal with it. And that might work. Right, let's have a go, shall we? We should be fine. What we're going to do quickly though is jump down here so that we don't take as much explosion damage. The wither is taking damage. So what we are doing here, I would usually be jump critting the wither, but I am not jump critting the wither today because there's no block above me. So the idea of this boss is it's kill wither, but of course this is this is a lot more simpler than you would imagine. The actual killing wither part is not most of the run. It's very loud. And time starts when I get there. There you go. 30 minutes, 33 seconds, and 5. Considering I didn't know where I was spawning the wither, that's fair enough. Ugh. <sighs> And that's the start of my narration for I-65. I'm going to go back over this and see how much I actually blabber, then work on it. But thank you for watching if you have.